My name is Stephanie Xuereff. I am with Management Sciences for Health and a Portfolio Director with the Program Delivery Group. Technological advances have transformed supply chains over the past 10 years, particularly in how countries collect and use data to make informed decisions about their supply chains. I want to stress the importance of approaching technology in a health supply chain as a cross-sectoral endeavor, because the successful implementation of technology to improve supply chain performance is really at the crossroad of many different domains falling under the responsibility of different entities. The pandemic has popularized supply chain and it has certainly helped raise the awareness and revive the momentum around a number of key supply chain aspects. It brought out some of the downside of globalization, the dependency and inequity it creates for many countries and the need to spread manufacturing capacity in different parts of the world. But it also forced countries to analyze and actively manage their pipeline and stock much more carefully and has stressed the vital need for data and the IT systems behind it. It has been amazing to see how most countries have managed to cope and adapt and to maintain integrity of their national supply chain during the pandemic. But this has been clearer in the countries that had to unfortunately suffer other epidemics such as Ebola prior to the COVID-19 pandemic. Those countries were better prepared because they had already a number of systems to cope with the urgency and need for visibility into health commodity pipeline and stock levels. There are three interventions that have driven important enhancement in Uganda. The supervision, performance assessment and recognition strategy has been a game changer. It's known as SPARS and it transformed medicine management practices at health facility level. Another important intervention has been towards improving supply chain management at the central level with the establishment of a quantification procurement and planning unit. Thanks to this unit, stock out have been averted, overstock have been mitigated, change in treatment regimens have been carefully managed and gaps in funding have been identified early enough. Ukraine is a good example. They had to address a similar challenge of the responsibility of last mile delivery being on the shoulders of the health facilities. What is very unique about Ukraine, though, is that it wasn't an extension of the regional level distribution service from the central level, but a service that was meant to be institutionalized by the region and under the responsibility and management of the region itself. MSH actually won the 2021 Supply Chain Innovation Award from the Council of Supply Chain Management Professional for this pilot. The suggestions I would have uh, for donors, pharmaceutical companies or stakeholders working on supply chain issues are threefold. One, donors could help augment attention and resources to some aspect of technical assistance that are key to the success of a supply chain, like management and leadership, but also governance and change management. Second, the private sector supply chain must be much more integrated into national supply chain strategies. There are opportunities to leverage the points of intersection and complementarities between public and private sectors that can support greater equity in access to healthcare. And third, any supply chain will benefit from intentionally incorporating elements of equity, diversity and inclusion in its design and management. <music>